Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I'm the series strategy game and we're returning to Rule of the Waves 2 where we are in a three-way war or war against three parties. Mostly Germany, France and Japan. Last time we did sink a couple of uh, French and German battle cruisers. Uh, on the other hand two of our capital ships were damaged in Northern Europe so we'll be having to go without the California and Colorado for at least two turns. Uh, they're gonna be out in repairs. Uh, hopefully we are still going to be able to fight anything over here in Northern Europe. I think it's going to be fine because we've got a couple of our Hudson class uh, new battle, or sorry, new heavy cruisers down there. So that hopefully should be okay. Germany has a couple of heavy cruisers about in, in various uh, regions. But you know what? I think it's going to be fine. So yeah, let's hope that. You know what? Um, what it could actually do is set one of our Hudson classes, the Mississippi here, to trade protection on the East Coast and see whether we're going to... Um, get any objective of that. We have uh, the new training applied, so our gunnery is now a little bit better. Enemy fleets are ooh, delayed due to unfavorable weather, that's unfortunate. Getting new ships, getting new corvettes, that's also very nice to see. Blockade is causing hardships, an enemy submarine sinks a couple of things. We're losing so much due to enemy submarines, but at least we are sinking another eight submarines there, so I think we are winning that action. Here's a medium battle against estimated enemy forces in the German bait, uh, which is a little bit concerning because that means there are going to be a lot of enemy airfields and we're going to try to suppress those. Yeah, so you can see all of these German bases. Our closest airbase is over here, so we're going to have to see whether we can support them. Right, so we've got the Yukon, one of our very trusted uh, cruisers. There's another cruiser squadron up there. And we do have two light cruisers down here, don't we? Yeah, so let's set you towards supporting our heavy cruiser. And that I think should be okay. And you guys here are screening for them, I suppose. Yes, you are, so that's great to see. Yeah, let's start the game here. We are going to be frozen for a couple of minutes in terms of our speed until we find an enemy, I think, or some random timing goes on. I think the light cruiser is being withdrawn over here. Uh, means that we are spotting them slightly later. Unknown radar contact, there we are. Don't quite see though. What? Where? Okay, weird. Still haven't seen it. Might have been, might have been bloomed. Oh, there we are. Unknown radar contact. There are a couple of ships over here, so... Oh, okay, so you are one of our auxiliary craft or something with a little bit of a weird graphical glitch, but that's okay. Right, and down there are some unknown ships. Okay, that's why we didn't see them before. Right, okay, let's go to max speed with our heavy cruiser. Let's see what they are. Not really sure what this is. Could be, could be relatively large. I guess we can take normal timing over here. I'm afraid that we are going to be um, attacked by German shipping, uh, so, sorry, German aircraft. What's our gun range? So you you are in gun range already, so you should be firing. And indeed you are doing that. Although you're not using a full broadside. Okay, you know what, let's get you out of AI control uh, on max speed, also steaming in this direction. And that should be okay. And then you guys here can turn around a little bit because I want to use your rear gun. There we go, that's fine. Now we are doing that, so the light cruisers on the other hand can come up behind that so that maybe uh, we are flanking them. Turret jam on uh, Yukon, that's unfortunate, that uh, derives us off about a third of our uh, fighting power. So it looks like it's a German heavy cruiser. Oh, and we have, s s ooh, what's going on here? Medium hits. Torpedo tube hit, ooh, and we are suffering from some damage. This is not good at all. Starboard side torpedo hit. So I think we have to withdraw. Let's let's try to withdraw over here. Let's get these guys here out of AI control. We're gonna make a torpedo run at the enemy to to hopefully dissuade them from attacking us. Our light cruisers are gonna try to cover the retreat of the Yukon, but if it's burning then that was a very unlucky hit for us, but something that we do have to keep in mind, and that is going on. Santa Rosa, you are using your rear turret, so that I think is fine. 
and we're going to do this over here. You can just try to get away as fast as possible, please. Well, you've extinguished your fire, so that's nice. That almost means we can get back into action, okay. Well, let's see. Okay, okay. What we're going to do is we're going to ask you to target the carrier division, that's fine. And you guys here, you can target the other two, that's okay. And you are also targeting the other two. We really should be raking these guys. Yeah, it's a destroyer, a murder class. Which we don't have any info about. Interesting. Um, you might be launching torpedoes. Let's change course a little bit with you. A little bit with these light cruisers as well. The Leopard class here, down here, uh, we apparently did quite a bit of damage against these guys already. Keep on changing course every now and then. You can, you can come back. Destroyers, you can come in. Hopefully the Leopard class is going to go down. Move class soon as well. Leopard is being hit continuously. Right, and you guys can also engage the heavy cruiser, can't you? So maybe that's what we should ask you to do. Oh, we are launching torpedoes against the destroyer, and that is a little bit silly, but at least it's going to sink a bit more quickly if we do hit there. Santa Rosa, secondary battery hit. Yeah, okay, so we, we just... Why, why would you do that? That's A, totally overblown, and B, the chance of hitting them actually is, is kind of low. Yukon, how are you doing? Why are you not using a second turret? You really should be. Right, that guy has sunk. Sunk pretty quickly too. Let's bring in the destroyers. Let's try to cut off their retreat. Bring in the Yukon. Why is this? Have you lost? No. Forward superimpose still has some ammo. Oh. Don't you have... What's your... Probably you don't have armor-piercing ammunition anymore. And here is night time, which is good because we are not going to come under air attack then. This is the heavy cruiser. Ouch. Our destroyers are doing something weird. They're going to be locked in for a couple of minutes here. I do want them to come up this way. Well, you know what? Maybe we're going to take over here. No, no, no. I don't. I still want to keep on this side. Wonder how long they're going to be locked into this. That does mean we need to bring in the. Okay, if it's going to be this way, then let's go this way. I think we have slowed them down at least. Which leads me to believe, yeah, you're firing both of your guns now, that's that's okay. And the destroyers are gaining on, on that capital ship, so that's great. Yeah, they are definitely slowing down now. It's a nice now class. I think it's one of their main classes, 10-inch guns. Right, let's uh, take off the light cruisers here. You can, can continue to go this way. There's one torpedo. I do definitely want more. Well, pretty much a couple of individual torpedoes being launched here. And some of them hitting as well, so that's nice to see. Yeah, I think with two torpedoes... Let's maybe take this turn here to use up these guys. Oh, another full torpedo spread. That's lovely to see. Yeah, lots of hits there, so that's, that's brilliant. Um, I think can't really ask for more than that. Right, and then the Yukon, I think it's time to bring you about this way, maybe engage with this ship up there. Scoring some hits on them, it's great to see. Yeah, but it's not too much damage, and I think it's probably a small ship, but we might as well investigate. I think it's probably one of their destroyers. Guys now, class now burning. After it did score that very early hit on 
on our Yukon. There's another torpedo salvo. Two hits there, so I definitely think you are going to be in a lot of trouble. Yukon did take some quite some damage as well, though, especially on these torpedo tubes. That early fire was was really bad for us. Yeah, we should be able to identify this ship now, though. Let's try to rake it a little bit here. I don't want to overtake it due to torpedo damage and all of that. Right, there we go though. Scoring some hits here. Last ship is sinking. So we did sink two destroyers, carrier. We didn't really sink the uh, the transports. That's slightly unfortunate, but you know what, I think uh, we're definitely going to call this uh, a win here. So how many of these torpedoes were in fact wasted? Quite a couple of the hits at, at the very least, yeah. Two torpedoes being wasted. A lot of things were actually wasted here. Waterline battery hit. Yeah, I, didn't, I don't think we actually needed to, to torpedo it at all. So yeah, that's nice to see. Small battle here. Still, very nice win. Don't think we need to name that. Wasn't that decisive. Our ships are starting to be repaired over here, so that's great to see. And in terms of messages, are we getting some? Yeah, we are blockading the enemy. All of them, in fact, so we should get their unrest level pretty high up. Uh, and that's going to be nice to see. Oh, I did um, did send up a couple of carriers over here. And I think the destroyers are here. That's unfortunate. So we are going to meet some German forces over here. Heavy cruiser. Okay, so what we can do then is take someone from the... East Coast, the Missouri. Uh, you're going to be moved towards the Caribbean because you're going to cover our aircraft carriers there. And then who else have we got on the East Coast who could come down? Or in Northern Europe, in fact. Uh, all of these are Corvettes. I would like to grab a handful of destroyers. All of you are in Northern Europe. A couple of Truxons, maybe. A couple of Hulls. Northern Pacific, you know what, you should actually go to the East Coast so that we have that full squadron aligned. And then... Yeah, let's just take, let's just take the Hudson's here, uh, the Holocausts here. Uh, you're going to be moved towards the Caribbean. And you know what, you guys then also can move towards the Caribbean. You're going to arrive late, uh, but I think that's going to be alright reason again why I'm doing this is we were moving a couple of carriers um, from Japan basically towards over Europe. They're coming up here, they are currently on the west coast um, and they'll be passing through the Caribbean where there are German surface ships and I want to have some cover against them. Uh, so that's going to be alright. Lovely. Aircraft types, everything is ready. We are requesting a medium bomber and um, that's okay. We are still developing this guy. We've got a new torpedo bomber. You should be placed replace so that's okay yeah next turn unfavorable weather again yellowstone is commissioned vanilla has condenser trouble new bomber medium prototypes are available that's great to see so bomb loadout you are all pretty much much better uh, than our current bomb load that's brilliant and um, and then what do we need we definitely value range and we, we value it quite strongly actually you are slightly less maneuverable and you have a little bit less toughness. Your speed isn't quite as great either. But that range ban, heavy range, 900 miles. We are going to go for the Curtis Commando. What? How can you be hitting a mine on the east coast? Japanese raiders sinking a lot of things, but we are sinking four ships. We do get into a battle uh, ship arrangement, but they uh, decline. Japanese do decline as well. Enemy coastal raid with a battle cruise and a battleship. Right, <laughs> that was uneventful. Um, a lot of turns, but nothing really happened. Hudson is damaged. Yeah, we did get a notice about that. Manila is damaged as well. San Bernardino. All of your, all of these ships are coming back into play soon, though. Uh, we've what, got, got one guy here on the east coast. You should go to trade protection. The Nebraskans are mainly there for, for mine clearing. So they are alright if they're not on 
that particular duty. You should go to trade protection though. Yeah, other than that we seem to be fine. Right, especially uh, both of our battleships are back in action. And we should see most of our ships now here on the Caribbean. Oh, interestingly enough, Japan has sent a couple of battle cruisers towards the east coast. Have we got any capital ships on the east coast then? Yeah, just one that is damaged and a couple of them that are working up. So I'm going to move the Missouri back to uh, towards the east coast. That should be okay. We are building a lot of ships. Couple of smaller ones, couple of larger ones. Yeah, nice error there. Capital ships blockading in Japan. Lovely to see. Seven submarines sunk. Nice coastal raid. Yes, they don't have enough ships. Uncertain margin of error. I don't believe that over here in Japan. We have a lot of ships here. We should definitely have superiority. France is sending quite a couple of ships here towards the North American East Coast. They might almost blockading, almost be blockading us. So if that's the case, then I'm going to move back some of our carriers, the Le Bon class, which is currently in Northern Europe. Uh, we are going to move these guys back towards the East Coast, and likewise the heavy cruisers uh, that are currently on in Europe, we are also going to move them back towards the East Coast. That should be fine. And the destroyers from the Caribbean, these hull classes, you are also going to be moved towards the east coast. Stop them from blockading us over there. That should be okay. South Korea should really be invaded. I think that's okay. Now the game is going to end at some point soon, but I think I would like uh, to give a little gift uh, to my successor uh, in this game, which of course is, is not a real thing, but, um, but something that... See, we're not getting the, um, the angled flight deck. Uh, but you know what, I, I, I like to roleplay this a little bit, so yeah, it should be at least 99 aircraft, it should have all of these things. I guess it should have at least 2 inches of um, armor so that splinters are avoided. Um, we are going to ask for a deck armor of 2 inches. Conning tower can be armored a little bit more. Turrets we can uh, armor a little bit as well. And we are of course going to add a couple of... Um, catapults on the forward positions that's basically okay five over here uh, four over there let's say 60 medium and yeah 60 medium and a couple of light guns I think are fine so basically every director is controlling 15 guns and you know what let's say 16 guns I think that's a little bit more realistic they often paired in in four so four guns in quadruple mounts, I guess, is, is perfectly reasonable. You should get auto loaders for your main guns. You don't have secondary guns at all. Um, all of these are dual purpose ones, so that's fine. We have a big issue here with the rate remaining, so we're going to go for a, a magazine box protection only. I guess we can go down there significantly. Range should be medium, engine priority normal, and I guess we could go diesel. Yeah, that's going to save up a little bit of... Uh, wait, so that's okay. If we went down here drastically to let's say 4, we would be fine. So I think I'm going to stay with the speed of, of 33 in favor of this over here. Torpedo defenses are good. Accommodation is normal. Everything here looks pretty good to me, actually. Intrepid? Yes, Intrepid is a very fine name. There we go. It's going to take a couple of months to design that, but that should be okay. Look at the power that we have in Northern Europe. It's basically through the roof over there. Troops have invaded South Korea. That's lovely. Potomac has worked, uh, finished its working up. Japan is suffering from shoot food shortages. A couple of ships are being scuttled. Nice, especially the raiders. Only three submarines sunk. Small engagement. Japanese decline, coastal raid. Ooh, this is going to be tricky. Um, yeah, let's attack enemy ships near the objective. So our objective is down there, but might is is nearly there, so that might actually be okay. So we've got a couple of aircraft carriers over here. 
Got a light cruiser division there, and we've got the battleships, two battleships down here. Um, I'm going to bring back the battleships here for a second, uh, because I don't want to get too close uh, to their position Why they are. This is fine. Let's go for heavy combat. Let's go for maximum and two-phase search. I don't think you need to cover quite that distance. Yeah, let's say 200 should be, should be more than enough. Right, there we go. Um, yeah, let's launch floor planes because why not? It's only a small issue. Right, you are turning towards the north. Um, stop it, actually, we do need to prepare strikes. So we've got ooh, two carrier divisions, the Ranger Wasp and the Bunker Hill. Okay, that's lovely. Um, and you wanna, we're gonna prepare all of these guys uh, for strikes, mostly with heavy loadouts. And I guess even the torpedo bombers, we can use a heavy loadout on at least one of you guys. Um, I kind of doubt whether we are going to be f uh, launching any of these guys before night comes, but still I want to be ready just in case. And these fighters here, you know what, you actually can carry pretty large bombs. So let's give you a heavy loadout as well and set you towards a naval strike. And let's ready that. Just in case we do spot, you know what, stop. Uh, what I actually want to do probably is, okay, let's wait a couple of turns till they are readied. And I guess we can start to sail this way, so turn around now. Oop, there is a first report of battlecruisers, light carriers and stuff. Do we have anyone who's ready? You're just all preparing, aren't you? Well, I do need to find out as soon as you, as you are ready. Come on, just a couple of minutes. And you guys here can speed up a little bit. And we should actually have a look. So you guys, are you AI controlled? Yeah, I really hate that. Alright, and up over here we've got a lot of destroyers, but also some light cruisers. Uh, which I actually would like to go to the battleships. And you know what? One of these destroyer squadrons is also going to screen for the battleships. Right, there we go. Lovely. Good. Strikes? Yes. So some of you guys are indeed ready. Um, let's say our location is here. And I would take these torpedo bombers. You would be returning by dusk. How about the dive bombers? You know what? Let's let's try to launch pretty much everyone. Everyone who isn't a fighter, we don't need fighters, I think. Location here, or let's say target. These guys. Launch the strike. You're gonna land at dusk, but not at night. So I think that's gonna be alright. And we are also gonna send these fighters here. Right, let's see whether we can intercept them. Right, time goes on. Oh, more reports being being gathered from over here. Mostly light cruisers, light carriers. There's definitely stuff around, so let's hope we can bring in our, our aircraft before nightfall. Oh, there is night time. There are our ships. They're trying to steam away from the enemy. That might be our strike packages. Yeah, I think this is a strike package. And well, at least they are coming in now. Stop. Ooh, there we go. There is a destroyer down there of the Leopard class and a heavy cruiser. Oh, well, that's what they're telling us. We should be able to engage them, actually. Yeah, and we are bringing in some aircrafts there, so we should get soon get a... a a sign that we are approaching enemy ships and there are some torpedoes in the water which I think are ours. Well, I'm not too sure how that works. Or are they launching at us? That's don't think so, but Yeah, we are engaging them heavily. 
Not sure how much damage we are actually doing. See, L is hit by a bomb and torpedo. Interesting. So, bomb and torpedo is something that I think is pretty new to us. Um, it's basically a torpedo that sort of travels a little bit like um, a shell underwater, or like a torpedo underwater. So, certainly interesting in that regard. There is that light cruiser, which I think was damaged a lot by this at, at this point. Yeah, and our aircrafts are returning. So yeah, night is is certainly upon us, very sure. Um, yeah, it's a Bremen class, fairly modern ship, 15 six-inch guns, in five turrets. It's a heavy gun. There are some. There's a little bit of smoke over there, so. Oh, well, there's also an unidentified ship down here, uh, which is under fire, uh, which is fire burning, um, and I do not want to be torpedoed. I completely overlooked that due to the fact that it's um, being covered by so much blue there. Come on, guys, do engage this ship. Not just that light cruiser. Yeah, but we're not really scoring a lot of hits there. Ah, I say that and. Immediately we do score some. 16 inch and 6 inch hits. Let's turn a little bit here. That's dead in the water. It's not really a capital ship though. Some of our ships are streaming in to support us. That's the destroyers and light cruisers that I did ask for before. Right, let's continue to go around over here. I think our objective is probably to sink any two ships. I'm guessing these two ships that we've left over here are sinking already, um, but probably so far they have not yet actually sunk. Yeah, there we go, this one is still around. What is it? A battleship, really? Okay, if it's a battleship, then I'd better do... No, of course not, it's a light cruiser. Bremen class. Also fairly modern. 1953. Bremen class hit. Yeah, that's nice. I'd really love you to, to torpedo them as you as you pass them. Preferably not while you are. Just look at all of these hits. It's brutal. That's a very brutal engagement. The light cruiser could launch. Oh no, Bale did. Hopefully, yeah, you're not going to hit Santa Rose, are you? Okay, that's that's lovely. Oh, none of these torpedoes hit? Oh, that's that's a pity. Right, let's go ahead over here. You are coming in, you are doing stuff. Haven't really gotten to the objective yet. Now I guess we can go faster. Okay, there we go. Objective completed. Guess we can go down over here and then just hold back before uh, we lose the cover of the night. Because I really don't want to be here when morning comes. But often ships do get stuck on this little bit over here, but they so far they haven't, so yeah, let's let's sail back onto the more open waters of the Baltic. Don't want to hug the close line a coastline that that narrowly. Unidentified ship down there. I doubt whether it's going to be a capital one, but what time is it? No, it's too early. It's it's too late in the night. Well, that was nice. Sinking an unidentified ship simply with this destroyer. I think it's probably this one's probably a cargo ship. It's so slow, but we haven't really gotten had had not had a chance to destroy them. And um, guys, the wasp class here. Um, can I actually ask it to be a core part? Uh, because you really, really, really must not be that close uh, towards the coastline when the morning comes. A little bit of a gun battle down there. And some torpedoes in the water. Dicker Tower is in independent though, so... Not sure what exactly they do. But I think we're going to be alright here. We might suffer a little bit in terms of um, aircraft losses because we definitely sent these guys out very late in the day. 
um, and that was a bit of an issue. Should be sending out new scouting aircraft now, or rather now as morning comes. Some attacks over here from our land bases, I guess these guys here are from Narvik. Trying to find enemy shipping. I have found something, a destroyer. Well, it's okay if you are engaging that destroyer sort of independently. Right, nothing else in terms of reports so far, so I'm gonna go to very fast over here. Don't think I want to prepare a lot of. No. This is way too dangerous. This is way too dangerous. Well, I guess we can stick over here. Yeah, see there, there we are. This is the uh, this is the craft that we are not controlling ourselves. And of course, immediately you do get hit by a bomb, and it's just devastating to you. Well, what's to be expected? Unfortunately, the AI doesn't quite respect another destroyer sighting. More destroyers, these are sort of unexciting. If we did spot a carrier also, that would be something different, but this way, I think we are fine. Decker Tower is probably done for. No, 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 wait a minute. Someone is attacking us over here, isn't it? Aren't you? Fiesler, yes. Okay, we do need to withdraw further. Dive bombers. Yeah, so we lost the destroyer. Unfortunate. Did sink two light cruisers, so I think that's alright. The tower has sunk. I think some of our light cruiser here was damaged. Was it here or over here? Probably over here. No. Weird. I thought I saw some some note over there. But yeah, let's accelerate. Yeah. Well, I think it was an okay battle. Just a small one, really, but. Starvang is being attacked. Interesting. Or Starvang is attacking Donzig. Could be that way as well. Come on, let's go to Ultra. This battle should end. What's going on over here? Airbase Starvanger. Yeah, so we are being attacked in Starvanger. Maybe we are going to have to put up more fighters over here. We actually did. We actually hit here. What was a dot. Yeah, I think we are shooting down a couple of aircraft though, so that's nice. Still, no big shipping hit here, so all in all, very uneventful, I think. Yeah, but Starlunger is being pounded. Stop buying it does need more more fighters. I think they only have a single group. Oh come on. Okay, suddenly it's not a victory anymore. Well it's called a major victory, but honestly not really. Losing two destroyers and a light cruiser. And I hate it when they are being sunk by a torpedo that's sort of out of the blue. San Bernardino, you're gonna be replaced. Unfortunate. No, 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 I don't want to be remembered of that at all. Um, right, reminded of that. Um, right. So yeah, our outlight cruiser force is starting to look a little bit, a little bit um, short in terms of capabilities. Still, all in all, so we are fighting now in South Korea. We were being unopposed over there. Uh, so that does mean we can set up a new invasion target. We could do more in in sort of Japan, that area. Could also try to go for the Caroline Islands. Or we could go for some of the French and or German possessions. So specifically over here. So we could go for the Baltic States. I'm very worried about their air superiority though. So I don't think that's 
two Ys. On the other hand, down here, You know what, let's simply go for it. I don't think we can set an invasion target to the home islands, but we can for this northern island. It has a value of five. Let's go for it. Right, there we go. Excellent, I think this is a very good place to put in cut though, so thank you very much for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.